I've got the morning off. The elevator here in Dana is full of beans. They didn't get the train in that they were supposed to yesterday, and it probably won't be here until late tonight. So my dad and brother took a couple of the trucks over to the elevator in Illinois. Um, and then we're just gonna cut a couple of small fields. My dad gave the guys the day off, so it's just my dad, my brother, and me. And the plan is that we will be home before it's dark and my brother will be headed back to Purdue. So my dad and brother are at the field um, cutting beans and then I get to pull more water hemp. So this part of the field, we were really, really wet this spring. Um, and this just completely drowned out. So if you look, like there's just literally nothing here. Like these died a long time ago. Um, and then the rest of it, they were still pretty green. So my dad didn't cut them when he cut the rest. We have a couple patches in this field to come back and get. But unfortunately, since there were like, there was no crop here, it left plenty of room for the weeds, like all weeds, but especially water hemp to come in. So do you, like, there's just seeds. There's so many seeds on these weeds. Um, but we just don't want to run them through the combine. Like, we know they've already gone to seed. We know there's already seed out here. But I've had a lot of people that were like, why, why are you even wasting your time? And we do it to keep it from going through the combine and spreading it to the next field. But yeah, this, this is going to take me a little longer than I thought. There's a lot more out here. but we have contracts to fill up there um, so they have to go there and all of our trucks are full and the cart is full so we get in the early night which will be kind of nice and he has to go back to Purdue uh, unfortunately. another foggy morning means it's going to be another late start Definitely going to keep those beans a little water for a little longer. Put the devastator back up. So the beans weren't dry enough to go, um, so we're switching over to corn, but unfortunately it has started misting. We were just cutting beans there and we're just switching over to these corn fields. Um, but as my dad said, it's going to mist slash rain just enough to screw things up. Picking up my dad and Andy. Uh, it it's raining, missing just enough like my dad figured it would to screw things up, um, but not enough. Like, we really, really need it to rain. So, if it's going to rain, I'd really like it to pour. Right. 
Good morning, and it's Tuesday. We got a little bit of rain last night, um, just a tenth and a half, but enough to give us the night off. Um, and then my dad is going, he is shelling corn. We're just waiting to see that it's dry enough that it's not gonna wrap, um, like going through the corn head. So I'm just chilling to make sure they're good to, to go before I head back to the shop. My brother is still here. Hey, you got coffee here? Yeah, go ahead. I guess you might as well get a lunch order. I think I'm going to be all running this stuff anyway. Okay. Well, I guess we're going. Perfect timing. Um, but yeah, my brother's still here, so he's running the grain cart. He'll probably have to go back to Purdue tonight. But yeah, my dad is actually in a field that kind of... Yeah, I'd have to come up, up here behind me. Andy, I'll have to have some, have some off before I turn around. But my dad is in the field where it is all blown down and like twisted up. So it's a huge pain in the butt to like keep the head, like keep everything straight. Um, so it'll be really good for my dad because my cousin's kid is in the combine with him today. He refuses to ride with anyone but my dad. Um, so my dad is going to have to practice a lot of restraint and not cussing going through that corn. It'll be good for everyone. But I guess I'm off to get dinner. I spoke too soon when I said the day was going really well. Uh, we blew a hydraulic hose, so just had to come to the gear dealership again to get a new one. Honestly, this whole my brother being home from school thing is working out 10 times better than I ever could have dreamed. I'm getting so much other stuff done. Um, because the shirts will be in tomorrow for the harvest collection and I know, and we'll be back to corn. And I know that I am just going to be getting literally zero sleep. Like there will be at least one all nighter at the end of this week, but it's fine. It's fine. I love my job and I love my business and I love the opportunity to get to do all this stuff. Um, it's just a little bit easier when it's not in the middle of busy season. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna be super bummed. I think he is leaving probably tonight. I'm a little bummed because my brother just left. He went back to Purdue. Um, his roommates got their tests back and they were all negative, which was what they expected. But that means that I'm back in the cart, which I don't mind at all, but it was kind of nice to have a little bit of a break for a few days. So we're on our second to last field of beans. Um, we should, if the weather holds out, it's nice and sunny and dry tomorrow. We should finish beans tomorrow. The closest I get to running the combine is just sitting in the seat while my dad oils the chain. I'll take it though. So all those beans are going out the other at the bottom and then they just go all the way through there. And I can speed that up a little bit, but since he's oiling them, there's no need to. Only one more bean field to go. beautiful day just finished loading the truck with the beans that I had left on the cart from last night and then I think we are gonna go ahead and switch back to corn get some of this out that is tangled up and laying over since we're switching back to corn um, we got to clean out the cart and then we're not at the shop we're just doing it in the field because we're kind of far away from the shop and then our next field is even further north so just gonna do the best we can and of course I forgot my mask, so that's excellent. So the wind has really picked up. It's supposed to be ridiculously windy today. So we're gonna go ahead and get that last field of beans. So just hooking the bean head up and proud of myself got this like basically the first try.
Good morning. It is Friday and the only reason I knew that is because I was watching Instagram stories and my friend Amber of Cranberry at Cranberry Chats does Frost Watch Fridays. And I was like, oh, it's not Thursday. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of uh, anything yesterday because I was so busy with the Harvest Collection um, launch for Heart of the Midwest. So that kept me <laughs> pretty busy the whole day. But we're trying to see if we can shell corn. There was a pretty heavy frost last night. It's pretty cold. Actually, it's officially overall season. Um, truly, the outfit is spectacular today. Are you ready? We got Harvest is my favorite, one of the new shirts. Uh, we got snakeskin print leggings, some wool socks, and some twisted X's. Uh, I think I need new ones though, because you can see my toes through them. But yeah, hopefully, we can get a lot done um, before the weekend. Not that that matters because we're gonna work the whole thing anyway. So, but again, if it could just rain, we could all have a break. <laughs> but. I really love the artwork that my little cousin left me. There's me and there's my brother. Andy is a dork with some devil horns. It's truly great art, at least in my opinion it is. It is so incredibly windy today. Actually it's been really windy all week. I guess it's kind of hard to see, but look at all that stuff blown across. It's nuts. It's been a while since we changed this, so we just need to move that to roughly 66 because we are two thirds done as of last night, as of Thursday night. Wait, no, Friday night. I have, I feel like I got hit by a freight train yesterday. I just like a cold, so. Fingers crossed it still rains tomorrow like it's supposed to because I would like to go to bed <laughs> for a lot of different reasons, but mostly because I feel like crap right now. <laughs> We're currently trying to find uh, someone else who can run the cart so I can go to the doctor to get some antibiotics because this has turned into a full-blown sinus infection and I feel like death and i just have too much to do like it's gonna be balls of the wall we're going until we finish corn harvest especially if it doesn't rain which they keep lowering the chances at the beginning of next week and i still have like these are just the orders from the first 24 hours that the harvest collection was live i haven't even printed them off for today or last night so thank you to everyone who has ordered them. Thank you to everyone who has sent snacks um, and all sorts of goodies. I really appreciate it. I found my new favorite uh, source of caffeine. Someone sent me these Celsius energy drinks. They're only 10 calories, which makes me feel like the picture of health and fitness. Obviously not the picture of health right now because no, but they're super good. So thank you, um, but yeah. Hopefully we can find someone. My brother can't come home this weekend um, back home because he is, uh, he's got a training for ROTC. So <laughs> hopefully it rains tomorrow night or first thing Monday morning so I can go to the doctor. If we can't find anyone to take over for me for a couple hours today. So I hope that you are all having a better week than mine has ended on. Um, it's not bad, I just don't feel good. It's actually been a really good week. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.